Warnings went out to people living near an Irvine landfill, notifying them they might hear a loud boom. And that is because the Orange County bomb squad had so many illegal explosives to destroy, it had to be done in a remote area. NBC 4's Vicki Vargas has more. That was actually the first time I've seen a device like that. Sergeant Tim Pusta is talking about illegal explosives that were confiscated and abandoned throughout Orange County around the 4th of July. He says they were so unstable they had to be taken to the Bowerman landfill for an emergency disposal, spread out and detonated. That was black powder. When you deal with flash powder type devices, very unstable. I always say that hurts more bomb techs than anything is dealing with these types of devices just because they're very uh, friction sensitive. The bomb squad says there were baseball sized devices with fuses, cardboard tubes filled with layers of powder. They dug six shot holes to ensure the pressure wave was not overwhelming. But the explosions still set off employee car alarms 600 feet away. Authorities say it would have taken days to safely explode the same amount inside this total containment vessel. It was used to transport the explosives. Last month, LAPD's police chief admitted his bomb squad significantly underestimated the weight of the illegal fireworks in this disposal, calling it human error. More than a dozen people were injured, businesses and homes destroyed. Experts in the field are taking note. I think everybody in the bomb squad community did, and in law enforcement, but, you know, and we still don't know exactly what happened. Um, and uh, we're waiting to see what that report looks like, too, to see if we need to adjust our protocols. So far, the sheriff's department says they do not have any suspects tied to any of the devices, but they did take pictures of what they look like before they were disposed of in case they need those for evidence. In Orange, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.